can lengthen your legs, lead to arthritis and long-term pain in the hips, knees, or ankles. What's up guys, Victor here, and today we're gonna to talk about if limb lengthening can cause arthritis later on down the line. To start us off, we're gonna discuss what arthritis is, the factors that play into it, and whether or not getting the surgery done to get taller or balancing a discrepancy can impact it. So what is arthritis? It's a common term that technically means inflammation or swelling of a joint. And a joint is where two bones meet, think of your hips, knees, and ankles, and so on. When arthritis comes into the picture, it's kind of like that uninvited guest that just simply overstays their welcome. It can lead to joint pain, swelling, stiffness, and a decreased range of motion. And if left unchecked, it can hurt bad in a chronic long-term way. Now let's talk about what causes arthritis since there's a few factors at play. First, there's age. It's a fact of life that as we grow older, the wear and tear on our joints just build up. This is why you often hear that arthritis becomes more common as people get older. Next up is genetics. Your family history can play a large role in whether or not you develop arthritis or not. If your parents and grandparents had arthritis, there's a chance they could be passed down to you as well. And then comes your lifestyle. What you do and how you live can also impact your joints. Things like excessive body weight, injuries, your job, sports, even crazy heavy lifting for over a decade that put a lot of stress on your joints can definitely increase your chances of developing as well. All right, now that we've got a handle on what arthritis is and the factors that contribute to it, let's dive into the heart of today's matter. Can limb lengthening surgery cause arthritis? To answer this question, we need to look at a few critical aspects of limb lengthening and first up is bone alignment. Bone alignment is crucial during the lengthening process. Seriously, making sure that your bones are lengthened in a straight and aligned manner is key. When alignment goes wrong, it can lead to things like axial, angular, or rotatory deformities, which can put undue stress on the joints, thus wearing down the cartilage and potentially leading to arthritis. All right, let's talk about muscle torque and tension. So lengthening can lead to the development of something called a muscle contracture, or very tight and taut muscles that are stretched out along the limb. And it can happen in areas like the hips, the knees, or the ankle, depending on which limb segment you lengthen. And it usually happens from lengthening too fast or too far, meaning too much length, which is often the result of inexperienced clinics that don't know when to slow you down or stop during the lengthening process. Seriously guys, over lengthening is simply a topic that we cannot overlook. Pushing to extreme amounts in one surgery on a single limb segment can result in severe joint contractures and joint stress. In fact, I recently spoke to a patient that developed severe ballerina foot from a clinic that literally told her to keep lengthening and just fix it with physical therapy later. That is not the proper way of doing things. It's just a clinic that's being a patient pleaser and hoping that you're gonna enjoy the max length for height gain, yet what they're really doing is potentially turning you into a cripple. It's crazy. Muscle balances are another area of concern. Atrophy and improper rehab can lead to muscle imbalances, which can disrupt the proper joint mechanics. These imbalances can lead to abnormal joint loading, increasing the risk of arthritis over time. This is why it's super important to work with an experienced limb lengthening physical therapist who knows how to deal with patients, you know, such as where to hold the legs for stretches, how hard to push, when to notify the surgeon that you should slow down on your lengthening to allow the muscles to catch up, which strengthening exercises you should do, for how long, which ones. Um, also, you can get back your strength, stability, uh, balance, and endurance to get back to normal much sooner. Lastly, let's talk about limb proportions or interlimb ratios. You see, it's not just about lengthening, it's about maintaining the right proportions, or at least within an acceptable range regarding your biomechanical changes. If you only lengthen one limb segment, say the femurs, the full eight centimeters, it can lead to biomechanical disadvantageous motion on things like squatting, which could lead to undue shearing stress on the joint, speeding up the degradation of the knee and hip joint integrity. However, if you learn to adapt with a wider stance with an appropriate torso angle to work you know, on the same team as your new leverages, you could most likely avoid this effect altogether. Another thing is, if you have a leg length discrepancy that's significantly symptomatic, it's likely that getting limb lengthening done could potentially reduce your chances of developing arthritis by improving the balance of your structure. However, if you're looking to get stature lengthening done for height gain, you gotta know that this is a risk that you take on. There's, there's not really any good long-term data besides a few small sample size studies that have possible associations of developing arthritis from limb lengthening, okay? So the data is really not conclusive as of yet. Let's see what happens in the future. So can limb lengthening cause arthritis? Well, the answer isn't entirely clear cut. While it's a topic of ongoing research, we've learned that factors like bone alignment, muscle tension, 
and limb proportion ratios could play a significant role. And while limb lengthening can be a life-changing procedure, it's important to be aware of and educate yourself about the potential risks and complications in order to make informed decisions. Remember, knowledge is your best friend and informed decisions are empowered decisions. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Let me know down below in the comments, are you worried about developing arthritis after limb lengthening surgery? And if so, how do you plan to avoid it? Picking a good surgeon, lengthening safely, doing your rehab, what else? Let me know down below. And until the next time, this is Victor from Cyborg for Life, signing out. Peace.